Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a video on LD Player and showed you how to set up a macro that would give you infinite auto battles regardless of whether or not you had raid pass. And since then, I've been playing around with it a lot and making some different macros. So I thought I would show you some of the stuff I have implemented that, uh, you know, just makes life a little bit easier. It makes it where you don't have to do some of the tedious stuff. Uh, some of it's minor, some of it's kind of huge. Um, but there's a few different ones. The big one I want to talk about, we'll do it at the end. Uh, I've got my clan boss. So I've automated my clan boss setup. So now once I once I hit start on my run and they as they're running up, I can just start this macro and my whole bat eater setup is taken care of. I don't have to set it up anymore. Um, we've got just some a, a, a minor one here where if I hit play on this, I'll show you how I set this up too. But you notice it drags down to a certain part of the screen. And it hits sparring pit and then it's it, it's going through right now and trying to collect everyone in the sparring pit you'll see up here it's executing one time and then when that goes it takes me back to the home screen and that's how i know it's done the reason that it drags down here is because if i if i'm like here and i've got a macro set up to click here like for example let's say i set the macro up like this and i click the sparring pit if i happen to be over here and do it well then i might click the forge and then it's all going to be screwed up so what i did was uh, you can just hit F10 to start recording. If you don't do anything worth recording when you hit F10 again, it won't start. You can also come over here. This is your little macro area right here. Operation Recorder is what it's called here. You can click that to bring up the menu. You can start recording from here. You can also use Control and 8 to bring up this menu. So basically, I, I just hit F10 to record and then I just did this a few times to make sure that I always start from the same anchor. And then again, so now anytime I, if I come in and my sparring pit's ready to go, I can just hit control eight, hit play on sparring pit, and then I don't have to touch it. Again, that's a minor one, it's but it's it's pretty handy. Uh, I think I'll I think I'll enjoy it. The clan boss one again, I'll show you at the end. Uh, another one that I set up was for shards. I used green shards to set it up, but basically you come in and you pop your first shard of whatever kind of shard you want to summon, let them run out, let everything get done. And then, then this is where you'd start the macro. So you look, I've got summon one pops. Now you can come into the settings down here and the way that I've set it up, you can pick how many times you wanna loop it. And I'm gonna walk you through how to set this one up specifically. But let's say I wanted to pop, let's say I wanted to pop five shards, right? I, I changed the loop to five times, I hit save. And now it's gonna summon five shards and then it should stop. So let's make sure everything is set up right and then we'll go through how to set this one up and again this will be nice like i don't know if you saw how many void shards i have sitting there but when it's time for me to summon void shards uh this will be a nice one to have i won't have to just sit and click i can just turn on the macro and then interact with the stream if i'm doing it on the stream or, or you know whatever but again relatively minor things but we might as well take advantage of it right if we can make our lives <laughs> more convenient we might as well do it so there you go. Oh, we got a blue from a from a green shard. Nice. And then now it's done. So this is nice if you don't want to summon all of your shards, right? If you just want to summon a certain number, like if, like I said, if I wanted to come in and do void shards, but I only wanted to do ten of them right now, I could just set the loop to ten and it would pop ten. Uh, I could also just set it to uh till i manual stop and it would keep going so the way that i the way that i set this up was i come in and i pop a shard again so that i get to the menu that i want to get to and then i hit f10 and as soon as i hit f10 i click summon so f10 summon i let the champ run out i give it a little bit of a cushion just in case there's any sort of lag or delay or anything and then right, right when I would right, want to click again, I hit F10 again. I don't click, I just hit F10. So that way when it loops, as soon as the loop begins, that's when the click happens, right? So you hit F10 and click immediately. Then whenever you would click again, you just hit F10, it'll stop recording, right? And then you come in, name it whatever you want to name it. You could do the same type of thing for this for the 10 pop, same principle. Uh, just, you know, you, you'd have to do your first 10 pop to get into the screen where the 10 pop is. And then, uh, you know, set your macro up that way. But that's how you would do that. So that, that one I think is going to be really nice, especially for the void shards. Um, again, it's not that hard to just click your mouse, but it's going to be nice to not have to do that. 
at least 172 times, probably way more by the time that I'm ready to summon these shards. So that's that's another one that I think is pretty handy. Uh, what else we got here? Arcane Potion Runs. So this is one you can set up for each individual dungeon. And this one's a little bit of a process. So let's go through it. Now, we already, you should already have the auto battle. If you don't have the auto battle, uh, I'm going to link to that video below to show you how to set up your auto battle macro. I'll card to it now as well up in the left corner. Uh, it's very simple. It's a very simple macro to set up. For the arcane potion runs or dragon runs or whatever dungeon it is you want to be running, let's talk about how to set that up, okay? We're on our home screen. It doesn't matter where we are in regard to this because we're clicking battle and battle never moves, right? So you'll hit F10. You'll click battle. Dungeon. For this time, I'll do force keep. And you're just going to go through the motions of getting into the dungeon, right? Hit and start. Now, at this point, once the battle starts, we can hit F10 again. And it's done. So this one, it's going to name it My Script 1. This is a temporary one, right? We're not going to keep this script. So this is temporary, so you can leave this like this, okay? We want to make sure that it's set only to loop one time. And then when this run ends, we'll, uh, actually we could do it now. In your operation recorder, after you've done this, right, after you've hit F10 and you've got my script one here, that from the home screen is going to bring you into whatever dungeon you want to be in. Now you're going to hit merge. We'll, we'll go back home just to start from the beginning. You're going to hit merge scripts and you're going to do my script one and then your auto battle macro and you're going to hit merge. Okay. Now. Remember, this one's looping once, but your auto battle is looping infinitely. Now you'll get a merged script one, so we can go force potion runs. And then we can delete my script one. We don't need that anymore. So now from the home screen, if I hit force potion runs, I don't have to touch it again. It's gonna take us into the force keep, start the run. And since that macro only runs once, it's now going to stop running and then it's going to begin the auto battle run. So from the home screen with one click of a button after you set this up, you can set this up for every dungeon, every potion keep, every dungeon, anywhere where you would want to repetitively run content. And now we're running potions, right? And there was no setup involved or any other than the initial macro setup. There's no like, you just hit a button. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, and you can do this for anything in the game. You could automate everything in the game, honestly, if you wanted to. I'm going to keep playing around with it and see what kind of ridiculous things we can add macros to. But you'll see when this run ends, we should start up another run right away. And there you go. Now our auto battle's running, and this will keep going as long as we want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And I'm actually just going to leave this battle. So that's that. That's how you set up from the home screen for any dungeon you want to run, repetitive runs. You, you, you'll already have your auto battle script in place. You create the new one that gets you to the dungeon that starts the first run. Make sure that it only loops once. Merge the scripts. Add the one that gets you to the dungeon first, followed by the auto battle. And then you can delete the other one you made, right? So that's those. And then the last last one we'll go over in this video is the is the clan boss setup, right? So let's let's get down to. And you could honestly automate getting to whichever difficulty you wanted to get to as well. But uh, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and do it. So we'll start our run. I'll hit Control Eight. And the thing is, when you're if you're if you're doing your clan boss setup, just leave a little bit of cushion, right? Don't set it up as fast as you can when you're recording the macro. Leave a little bit of cushion. But you'll see, I've just got clan boss here. I'll hit play and they'll do the whole setup by themselves. And that's it. So now instead of having, again, it's not like a super long setup, it's not super tedious or anything, but it's nice, it saves me some time. Now I could just open up LD Player, get here, hit one button, go back to what I'm doing, and uh, I love it. I'm having a really good time with it. And again, LD Player does not chug my system. I'm not trying to throw blue stacks under the bus, I still like blue stacks. I still have things that, I, that I'll do on BlueStacks, but LD Player does not chug my system the way BlueStacks does. And I can open this and close it all day long. And uh, 
I use it. That's the big thing. I, I generally just, I was talking about this the other day. I opted not to use blue stacks because of the strain it seemed to put on my system. And if you open it and close it, the next time you open it, it's even worse. And I feel like sometimes it was screwing with my audio. I know it sounds like I'm shitting on blue stacks, but I, I'm not. I think blue stacks is great too. Uh, this one just runs better for me for some reason. So if you're having trouble with blue stacks, if you feel like blue stacks has been laggy, um, Maybe this one's worth a shot. You, you can give this one a shot. I'll put all the links below for it and everything. Um, and yeah. If you have any ideas for any macros you have set up, definitely let me know. I'll do more of these videos as I come up with more things to set them up for, more maybe more complicated versions of macros that, that automate some tasks. I was trying to think about how to do like ranking up champs or leveling up champs with brews and stuff, but I feel like that could get a little iffy. So um, I don't know. We'll We'll... We'll look into it, but again, if you have any ideas, let me know below. Hop in the Discord, holler at me, and uh, that's it. I hope that you guys got something out of this. Uh, I hope you have fun with the macro thing. Uh, I know that I'm enjoying it. It's super convenient for me, so that's it. Appreciate you guys watching.